This video is a brief introduction to the Open Access Common Metabolic Diseases Knowledge Portal, or CMDKP. The goal of the CMDKP is to aggregate, analyze, and display genetic and genomic data to facilitate research on the molecular basis of complex diseases and help researchers find new therapeutic targets. The CMDKP, whose development is funded by the Accelerating Medicines Partnership in Common Metabolic Diseases, brings together a robust software and data storage platform with a streamlined and intuitive user interface for four disease areas, diabetes, both types one and two, cardiovascular disease, cerebrovascular disease, and sleep and circadian disorders. The CMDKP, which has grown from four disease-specific knowledge portals, enables researchers to access and explore a comprehensive matrix of genetic, genomic, and computational results. The CMDKP includes data for all of the traits relevant to those disease areas, over 300 in all. But if you'd rather see a disease-specific view of the results, you can click on Disease-Specific Portals and navigate to your disease area of interest. The disease area portals include all of the community-specific information that is currently present on the individual portals. The region page is a core page of the CMDKP. If you enter a gene name in the search box on the home page, you'll be taken to a region page for the area surrounding the gene. You can also enter a chromosome and genomic coordinates to see a specific region. The region page summarizes genetic associations across the region. It's important to note that all of the p-values shown here represent bottom-line meta-analyzed associations. We use the metal algorithm developed at the University of Michigan to calculate these. The algorithm accounts for samples present in more than one data set. The Variant Associations section summarizes all associations across the region. An alternate view groups the phenotypes into broader categories that can be expanded to see associations for individual phenotypes. At the top of the region page, the phenotype shown is the one for which there are strongest associations in the region, in this case, type 2 diabetes. The top associations table and look assume plot below show associations for this phenotype. You can see associations for a different phenotype by clicking Select Phenotype and entering a phenotype of interest. At the bottom of the region page, a locusum module lets you explore and filter not only associations, but also credible sets and tissue-specific genome annotations. We'll cover all the details of the region page in a future video. The CMDKP also has a page for each variant. You can get there by entering a variant ID in the home page search box or by simply clicking on a variant ID anywhere it appears. The variant page summarizes the consequences of a variant, its associations across all of the phenotypes in the CMDKP, and transcription factor binding motifs and epigenomic annotations that overlap its position. Finally, the CMDKP also has a page for each gene. To get to a gene page, click on a gene name anywhere it appears in the portal. The gene page shows gene level association scores generated by the AMP T2D genes exome sequence analysis study and also summarizes basic information about the gene and its product. We've talked about the region page, the variant page, and the gene page. The last core page type in the CMDKP is the phenotype page. To get there, you can search from the home page or click on a phenotype name wherever it appears in the CMDKP. The phenotype page summarizes associations for one phenotype across the genome, both graphically in a Manhattan plot and in a table. As on other pages of the CMDKP, these are bottom line associations generated by meta-analysis. Here on the phenotype page, you can see the individual data sets that contributed to the meta-analysis for that phenotype. Click on the name of a data set to see more information about it. Also on the phenotype page, you can see a table of epigenomic annotations for which genetic 
specific associations for this phenotype are enriched and in which tissues. This can help suggest which tissues are most relevant for a trait or disease. Finally, the CMDKP has many more informational pages to help orient you to the resource and inform you about the project behind it. We are actively developing the CMDKP and we welcome your feedback. You can find the CMDKP at cmdkp.org.